At the same time, that agency is considering what to do about the other house found packed with chemicals so dangerous the city initially said burning down that home was the safest option. Grace McKenna and Philip Murrell are live in High View. Our chief photojournalist, Grace, is the EPA any closer to a recommendation about possibly burning down that house? Everybody's waiting for that big decision. Certainly are, Doug, and you know the EPA has not made a final decision yet. They do say that manually removing the chemicals by hand is not an option, but they have some other paths that they will want to consider before settling on whether or not to recommend that the city burn down the home. One day into the EPA's cleanup of mercury at 6211 Applegate, an on-scene coordinator, Chuck Berry, says they'll take their time. It's a slow, methodical process. Right now, the EPA is sweeping the home for beads of mercury, planning to tear up the driveway and pull out the carpeting. It gets woven down into the carpet. Inside that home, Barry says the EPA has found additional chemicals. They're small bottles of this that keep turning up in places with very low volumes in them, and we'll work to try and make sure that those are moved over. While the mercury cleanup is expected to take three days, there isn't a firm timeline for dealing with the other home, described as a hoarder house filled with dangerous chemicals. The city initially proposed a controlled burn, but the EPA is assessing other alternatives. Tuesday, Barry said removing the chemicals by hand isn't one of them. Unknown chemicals in there that are stored in um, makeshift and sort of random containers that uh, no one really felt comfortable doing that. The risk to their own workers is just too great. One method still being considered though, a mechanical removal. Tearing the house down with an excavator and trying to remove those chemicals out of the way. But again, we run into issues and problems from the disposal side with that. And we have to work through that before we can recommend it. In the meantime, while the EPA works through its options, the city says a controlled bird is still on the table. In addition to those different disposal methods, the EPA is also considering both pre and post burn disposal alternatives before they do make that final recommendation. Live in Highview, Grace McKenna, WHAS 11 on your side. All right, Grace, thank you very much. Metro Public Health and Wellness started free mercury testing for neighbors on Monday. If you walked on the property and you'd like to get your shoes or your car floorboards tested, you can do so by making an appointment. Just call the number on your screen. It is 574-6650.